Wait, what did it say? The spider entrance. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I heard that they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Oh god, Muffet traps you. Uh, pay? Don't look so blue, my dearie. Oh god. I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> You're trapped in a strange purple web. Also, this song is freaking epic. I like this song, actually. <laughs> you pay 40G, Muffet urges to attack for this turn. Why so pale? You should be proud. Oh, okay. Oh man, this is such a cool song. I love the way you avoid attacks in this too, actually. Okay, I'm not I don't have any money for that, so. Oh shoot, wow. Oh god. Oh man. Can't spare her. I have to keep paying? I feel like you have to. I don't want to keep paying that much though. Freshly baked cobwebs. All the spiders clap along the music. Honestly, hey, I would too. This music is awesome. I don't really even like spiders that much, but still, like. <laughs> This is really cool. Oh god.
Okay, you know what? Whatever. Okay, I can't pay this. Still can't pay. Okay. Man, I need to actually do something. Hold on. Let's use the bicycle. Spider baseball field. Okay. Man, I probably should not have, like, spent so much money. That was probably not a good idea. My god! Alive? <laughs> oh, my pet. Looks like it's time for desserts. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying that they saw you and you helped donate to their cause? Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul, they must have been meant for a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here any time, and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. Hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> just kidding. I'll spare you now. All my money is gone, though. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. I could always sell stuff, though. If there's, like, another shop, I can sell, like, some of those other items that I have. It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Yeah, after thinking about it, I think I was just supposed to last during that battle for long enough. <laughs> I thought maybe if you kept, like, sending money that you wouldn't have to deal with that. Oh, that human. Could it be? My one true love? Oh, my love. Please run away. Monster King. Bids your stay. Humans must live far apart, even if it breaks my heart. They'll put you in the dungeon. It'll, I'll, it'll suck, and then you'll die a lot. Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. No! 
Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. <laughs> oh, and you better hurry, because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Oh, God. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, I'm stuck. I can't do anything. Ooh, I'm so sorry. It looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my! Any minute now! Robotic cough. Ring. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alfie's. That's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle over? Alfie's darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Oh, God. Um... This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. But there's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Now press Z. Ooh. Oh. You've defeated me. How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Okay. <laughs> looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. What? Uh, oh no, I mean... You were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up, like I couldn't do anything without, w without ending up letting everyone down. But, but, guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting the, me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past M MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. So yeah, how close was I? Oh, not very close. I still have a ways to go in that puzzle. Oh well. Okay, so... Oh, you're out of everything? Oh wait. Oh, that's... I don't care. <laughs> I mean, a smile's nice, I guess, but, like... That doesn't really help me. Actually, let me talk to that flame guy. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Well, what? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Look at his face. 
I actually don't remember his name. I thought they'd give him like, like a box where I could type it in or something. Okay, so that's where that is. So I'm guessing we just go up from here. Oh, hey, it's Sans. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway to the right for some great deals. Oh, God. Um, well, I have no money, so... Okay, let's talk to them. I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend Braddy. Okay. The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked buy all of it. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food? Or, we found it in the garbage. It's good garbage. It's, like, really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store. Duh. Waterfall, mostly. <laughs> oh my god, Metaton. He's, like, my robot husband. Actually, he's, like, my robot husband. I think we're, like, both going to marry him. We both, like, already married to him. He just, like, doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Alfie's built Metaton, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alfie's was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Oh my god, Alfie's. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump, she showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartons, or cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore is super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul, that's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all the science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's, like, so nice. God, we're, like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. There we go. Yeah, I really shouldn't have uh, gave all my money away, because this could actually be really cool stuff. Really interested in this key now, too. Guess I'll have to take a look at that for a future playthrough or something. But again, it made sense since they were like... Since they're like hosting the spider bake sale and all that, I thought that you'd like have to give the money. To spare, but apparently not. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure. Great, thanks for treating me. Hey! <laughs> Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddo. Though... Maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. It's what you have to do. Really worth it? Ah, oh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in the Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking him out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? 
dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep him coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would happen if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. Oh, wow. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Hey. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Interesting. Hey guys, uh, before we continue this, this is a little post-commentary segment here. Uh, but there is something I really, really, really want to highlight right here. Uh, just because I actually didn't realize this uh, during the first playthrough. And I actually didn't get to record my reaction when I actually found out about this later on. Uh, but Sans was actually talking about Toriel right there. And uh, let me just say, when I figured that out, that really, really, really messed me up for a bit. And when I say messed up, I don't mean in a strictly negative sense. Uh, it just means that I got a very, very, very big emotional reaction uh, from basically learning that piece of information because, uh, you know, I love Sans. He's a great character, and you, you guys know throughout this entire playthrough I felt so bad about killing Toriel, and that's when it just, like, really got to me. It's like, wow, I feel like... I really do feel like the scum of the earth, but, you know, not because I actually think I'm the scum of the earth, but just because this game just really, really drives home that, like, just that emotional response that I was talking about, and it's just amazing that something like that can have such a big impact, especially when you're learning that so late in the game, that's like, oh, this character you met at the very beginning who was kind of showing you how to, you know, play the game... She was actually keeping you safe this entire time. And then, you know, if you spared her, you feel really, really good about it. And then if you're like me, who killed her, I didn't even mean to kill her, but it still happened. It just, wow, it just really, really got to me so hard. And it just really kind of showed me that's like, this is why this game is so popular. Because it really just delivers on those emotional reactions that, honestly, you wouldn't expect a game like this to hit on. But it does it so well. And I think that's why I really, really started to love this game later on, because it has just the ability to deliver on that huge emotional connection. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to very quickly point that out. Uh, let's get back to the game. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. They're all... These are all Metaton. <laughs> Uh, who are you? As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. <laughs> it's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. 
Oh, hi. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go, uh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I'm sure love puzzles. I'm a resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his fata, but his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore, so he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh. So I guess he's the father of that one... Uh, enemy we found like a long time ago blub blub you'll have to reserve a table to eat here you also need to reserve your chair your silverware your food your oh okay I see how it is welcome to MTT resort hotlands biggest apartment building turned hotel whether you're here for a night or still live here MTT resort provides itself on a great stay just passing through nice MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. <laughs> Whoa, look at all these enemies. This elevator goes straight up to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel is doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Yeah, I'm not going to be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. As a slime, I'm outraged. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll go ahead and save. Man, I've I've been putting a lot of work into this session. It's a very long session. There's like so much to do. Wow, uh, room service. Got my CT. Sorry. Actually, I do have a cinnamon bun. Huh? That's just the way I want. Here's a tip. Oh, okay, cool. I got some money for that. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess he's too busy. That's kind of cool. Like, yeah, I have that cinnamon bun just laying around. Now, the problem is I did just get rid of it by doing that, but it's fine. Actually, I have the dimensional box. I could sell some of these things. Oh, wait, no, I can't sell them because I'm not... Yeah, that's right, I can't sell them. 